All we need you to do is go woof. Woof, 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 woof. Renovations do not go away. Hi, welcome to Retro Renovations. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to Retro Renovations. I'm Peggy. I'm Chloe. And this is our three bedroom house, which we are giving up for bricks and mortar to live in our little motorhome faith. We are going to be sort of static nomads because we have a workshop with our old classic vehicles and we're going to be staying near the workshop and around the workshop and uh, we're both working full time but so our aim is to live off grid so we're going to do that with our workshop and in our motorhome we are indeed so you can follow us on the journey we are going to upload some more videos of the build we I've built a workshop from scratch. There was an old derelict wood cabin on side site which needed total renovation and we've done that and incorporated an extension of a kitchen and facilities and Peggy's studio. Yeah. So um, yeah hopefully we're going to be doing glass painting and metal work and retro restoring our retro vehicles and in between that and in between work, we're going to be doing our adventures in faith. Our adventures in faith, going away and we will take you with us. So for the moment, I'm just going to show you how to declutter a three bedroom house. Into a downsized van. Yeah, it's hard work. It is very, very hard work. A moment ago we had glorious sunshine. Absolutely tipping it down, but it's so nice. So we always have the radio on or radios for the dog when we uh, when we go out. And this was a very very cluttered unit, which we're meant to be doing like glass painting and modelling on. So I'm just literally boxing up now. And, uh, much of that can. As a rule, one more unit cleared off, cupboards emptied out, that one's going to go with us to the work. Moving is stressful, hot work, hot work a thunderstorm, and if you're going to do it, everything's going to take three times what you think it's going to take. So, three tubs of recycling we're just about to take to the supermarket and go because we're going to refill them before the actual recycling day, which is next week, so we'll refill them. And take his craft stuff, stuff that we're still going to take with us even though we're downsizing. And one tub there and several tubs in there which are going to do uh, go to the charity shop tomorrow morning. So yeah, and still got CDs box up, take to the charity shop and things like that. So yeah, this is just a little glimpse of the corridor, boxes all going out, recycling going out, and we've stacked loads in the garage which we're putting in storage. We're not paying, well we are technically paying for storage. We went a very cheap garage, it's nice and dry, and we've shelved it all out and boxed it all up so stuff we're going to keep in long term storage from in the garage. Uh, both stressed, both sweaty, both dog tapping until you do this. Hey Peggy. Hey Chloe. Hey Chloe. Hey Chloe. Hey Chloe. Hey Chloe. Hey Chloe. Ah he's back. Alright so more crates of recycling. A huge pile to sort through later. 
storage for the garage, loads to go to the charity shop, loads to go to the charity shop, city to go, hoovering to do, that's going out there. And if you follow me, try and get the dog in. So the garden's almost clear, but this little retro metro has been working really hard with the trailer. We're doing all the moving with the trailer. So yeah, and we've still got half a mini to put in storage. It's difficult when you're, you're still working full time. We're both still working full time, so today we're on a day off. It should be annual leave, as you can see, we're not resting. We are busy moving, so we still got pictures to take down. And at this stage, we still have two weeks left to clean and hand the keys in. And the British summer heat wave continues. Look at them skies. Woohoo! But blimey, it's so hot. There's the workshop, there's the Retro Metro, there's the trailer. We have filled it and uh, some nice stuff from the house. So some cupboards that we're going to keep for storage. Just stepping over the trailer now. So we got some lovely units and we're about to get them in there. There's Peggy. So, uh, yeah, still decluttering, de downsizing the house. It's really, really hard work. So, there's the workshop. And uh, join us as we still declutter. So apparently today is the hottest day of the year. We're still sorting through as you can see, still piles of stuff. The room is getting empty, the furniture is going. But I wanted to talk to you about this little device. Obviously to hand the house back we want to give it a good wash, like we give it back respectable. The carpets are quite old, they were here long before we moved in, we've been here nearly 10 years. This is a Vax Rapid Spring Cleaner. Uh, it's a good little device. It's all down to the chemical you spray on the carpet first though. So I'll show you the chemical. I haven't got it here. <laughs> Let me just show you. This is the best stuff. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that. Spot and Stain Remover Enhance. You can buy it on eBay. This is really good stuff. You've got a mark on your carpet, that will shift it. And then this device, I'm not going to lift it up, it's too heavy. It's a dog's nose. It's got brushes underneath, as you can see. They go back and forth. The water comes out of there and it sucks up. Can you see, Jack? Yeah, can you see? It's been really good. When I first used it when we rescued Jack. Come here boy. Come on. Up. <laughs> Wants to be in the video. When we first used it, he used to bark. But not anymore. You're all right with it now, aren't you? Yeah, what are we doing? Cleaning the carpets. What are we cleaning the carpets? Of course, he made them dirty, didn't you? So yeah. Tomorrow's the big, big day. Wednesday. That Peggy's off and we're going to shift the remainder of the stuff in the house hopefully. We got a chap come in. Oh, let me up. We got a chap come in in a minute and he's come in to purchase this washing machine and if you listen carefully 
Peggy is upstairs bagging everything. The bedroom furniture's gone and literally we've got stacks on the floor and Peggy's bagging it all up. So when we're close. Could have done with another week but we're close. So that's our quick update of downsizing, emptying a three bed house to give it back. is moving day. Today we are getting rid of a load of rubbish. Can't see it in our video but if no. you look in the mirror. I'll just turn around in a moment and I'll show you the mirror and we have got a trailer load of rubbish too including a two-seat sofa and a chair. So yeah so we are now doing a tip run. In the retro metro. In the retro metro and we are... You can hear the trailer rattling. We are now on our way to the tip. Yeah, unfortunately our say is end of life. Mm -hmm. We can't upcycle it, we can't end up with it. It's end of life. Um, to be fair though, we did actually recycle it. We bought it second hand about six years ago. It's had its use. So we've, had, we've given it its use then. Yeah, when we first rescued Jack, he chewed the cushions in the back. He did. So, um, yeah. so yeah, but that was three years ago. So we've still been using it since then. But now it is, it's completely beyond repair beyond economical use so we have to get rid so we gotta hand the keys back to tomorrow we do um you'll be by the time you see this video we will be out yes but we still got the whole kitchen to get rid of finish off the bedroom uh, moving is such a fast it's horrible yeah if you can if you can avoid it don't do it yeah. Yeah. that's probably the best advice i can give you There we go. Always hot and sweaty. Ah, uh, yeah. And we're now empty. We've managed to... Get the trailer. We have now managed to get rid of everything that was in our trailer and in the booth. Just got to navigate ourselves out of the recycling centre now. Mm-hmm. We're fine up here. Yeah. One load done. So today Chloe has been really really busy. She's been redoing the floor in the lodge because the previous person had a leak and it had dry rot. So we've now taken that out and she's now put in another board. Um, we've also reused the rugs and the carpet tiles and we've given them a really good hoover with our Henry. So we fed Henry. And we've now put in, if I just start to spin round, we've now got a, I'll step in there, 
I have an old Welsh dresser that I wanted to keep. So here's my old Welsh dresser. And it actually fits really nicely in here. Thank you for watching. To keep up to date with our adventures, subscribe now. If you would like to support us in making our videos, why not support us through Patreon? Leave your feedback below. We want to hear from you. See you on the next one.